All right, guys, it's the 10th today, and um, I'm headed out to John's. I'm going to go out and mow his lawn. And uh, we also got a surprise for Jack, which I'm going to work on. It'll be kind of a DIY project, seeing as we can't afford to get much. Um, I was actually able to find a uh, one of those electric cars or... What are they called? Battery powered trucks, whatever, Jeep. Anyway, my neighbor, mom's neighbor had one, which will be my neighbor, essentially. Um, he had one sitting in the back and just sitting there. And it's pink and purple and everything, but we got some uh, uh, plastic paint, uh, Rust Oleum that bonds the plastic. So I'm gonna uh, camel paint it and um, put the tractor battery in it. Granted, it's a big battery. I was looking around today, and all the batteries that you know, the the lawnmower batteries, which I wanted because they they're bigger or they're smaller. I'm sorry, they're smaller, and they fit into the compartment. It would have been nice, but I didn't have a core, and so it would have cost me thirty-three dollars. So I just don't. I'm cheap. I don't want to spend that much money. <laughs> so I'll make this tractor battery work. But yeah, and then I'm gonna paint it camel and um, screw uh, screws into it to give it better tread. And yeah, I think it'll it'll turn out pretty cool. I hope. All right, so there's the monster truck. <laughs> yeah, right. So what I've got now is I'm gonna. Got my tools here place to put anything so these will be for traction on the back tires for the battery cable and then to paint it I know I need more but it's just gonna have to do for now and um, yeah I gotta find a driver for these so um, to hook up you know, for my drill but for the life of me, I cannot find mine at home, so maybe Dad's got one laying around here somewhere. God only knows, really. And I gotta go and see if uh, my neighbor over here has got a hood. Because I need a hood. I don't know, he might or might not. We'll see. No luck. Just stopped over there. and I know it seems like I just went boom, boom, you know. <laughs> but no, I literally just drove over there as a full wheeler and... He's like, go, go back and look, and so I did. It's not there, so I'm gonna have to go without. All right, I'm gonna start the seat first, and then go from there. Use up all my paint on just that. Jeez. So I've gotten it all painted, looks like shit, but whatever. Um, I ran, the battery is supposed to go up in front, but the battery I'm using won't fit in the front. So I've connected the two wires, I connected the throttle, connected them to an old extension cord, and I've run that underneath the frame, if you want to call it that, and then ran it through the wheel well, tied a big knot in it so it doesn't go back in. And now I gotta cut it and then add some battery terminals. So I'm gonna have to give myself plenty of slack 
I might just leave it just just like that actually. So yeah, it's been it's been like an hour and a half now since I've recorded last and um the main oh and then I also added I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I added sets to the tires. Which if any of you parents have one of these, I strongly recommend. Because those tires they give you just they don't have any grip at all. All you do is use sheet metal screws and you're good to go. It's same basically the same thing people use for studding tires uh, for um, ice racing. I just hope the damn thing works. I haven't even tested it out. I haven't even measured to see if the battery will fit to be perfectly honest. But I'll make it fit. I'm just using an old extension cord right now. Works just fine for what I need it for. Plus, it's the wire is already pre pre sheathed. I can't say that really well, but you guys get the hint. All right, I'm gonna go and get the battery and see if we can make it fit. All right, here goes nothing. Look at that. Now, we gotta see if the seat will fit. Not quite, but I'll just screw it down like that, and it should work. Now <laughs> I am totally going ass backwards here, but let's see if the damn thing works. Ah, it works. All right, looks like the uh, motor mount might be broken. All right, now I'll put the battery terminals on, or the battery thing, whatever. I know it was cheesy as all hell, but I think Jack will love it. I hate the purple wheels. What are you gonna do? God. Okay, let's bring in the little boy. Come on! Look what daddy's got you. Look! Jack! Look! And he's like, wait a minute. What did Daddy do? There's still a lot. Yeah, I know, I know. Shut up. All right, let's see. You like it? Oh, yeah, it works. Battery in it? Yeah. 
Hang on. All right, come on, buddy. You gotta try this. <laughs> okay, get your butt in there. Should I have it? Just nope, no, no, no. What is that? That don't sound right. Well, I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't imagine it's a battery. I mean, I had the thing charged for two hours now. I think it'd have enough to move around a little bit. But, I don't know. It could be the connection, it could be the battery. I'm thinking I'm just gonna buy him a used one. I got a guy that's gonna sell me one for $25. Look at me, freaking roasting here. It's really humid out. So it's been like a sweat bath here for the last three hours. All right guys, well my battery's gonna die here. I've been recording on and off, on and off, and I forgot to charge from yesterday. So I've got no juice. Same with the, the Jeep battery as well. <laughs> Apparently, we'll see, maybe. I'm gonna let it charge overnight and see what happens. But All right, I'm gonna end the vlog and I will see you guys on the next one.